dear friends now in this video we are going to discuss another very important numerical on injection system so we start with the problem statement calculate the diameter of fuel orifice of four stroke engine which develop 25 kilowatt per cylinder at 2500 rpm the brake specific fuel consumption 0.3 kg per kilowatt hour fuel with 30 degree api full stop the fuel is injected at 150 bar over a crank travel of 25 degree the pressure in the combustion chamber is 40 bar coefficient of velocity is 0.875 and specific gravity is given by 141.5 divided by 131.5 plus degree api now dear friends this is another variety of problem and in this case one more new additional term is used and that term is nothing but that is degree api so what is this degree api so degree api is nothing but american petroleum institute api stands for american petroleum institute which shows always the lightness and heaviness of the crude oil generally if the crude oil is light that time the degree api value is more and if the crude oil is heavy that time the degree api value is less so with the help of this api value we can always show the lightness and heaviness of the crude oil so this relation in terms of specific gravity is given in this particular problem so we have to use this relation and further we will understand how we can get the value so first of all we have to write the given data properly so in this case the first point which is given the power is given that is we consider p stand for the power which is given 25 kilowatt and this is for per cylinder now this is four stroke engine and power for per cylinder is mentioned in the problem again the rpm is given that is 2500 let us consider n stand for the engine rpm 2500 rpm brake specific fuel consumption is again given in the problem this is brake specific fuel consumption that is 0.3 kg per kilowatt hour then the injection pressure is given in the problem that is fuel is injected that is 150 bar so write down p injector is equal to 150 bar then the crank travel is again given in the problem and that is 25 degree this is the crank travel of 25 degree so here we have written crank travel is equal to 25 degree then the cylinder pressure is uh, also mentioned in the problem and that cylinder pressure that is nothing but the pressure in the combustion chamber is 40 bar that is nothing but the pressure inside the cylinder so we can write cylinder pressure is nothing but p sub x cylinder is equal to 40 bar velocity coefficient is uh, again given that is 0.875 that is uh, written over here and with the help of this data we have to find the diameter of fuel orifice so let us consider small d is equal to diameter of fuel orifice so this is unknown we have to find this particular value so similarly when we are going to calculate this n sub x i value as we already seen in the last problem also this value is nothing but rpm by 2 so in this case rpm is given 2500 divided by 2 then we can get this n sub x i value because this is the four stroke engine that's why here is the two revolution of the crankshaft so we have to always divide this particular rpm by that revolution of the crankshaft that is the two in the case of four stroke engine so that we can get this n sub x i value is 1 250 if it is two stroke engine then again there is no need to convert this because Uh, there is only one revolution of the crankshaft that's why rpm by 1 and that value is become only rpm so here is four stroke engine that's why we have to divide by 2 to 
because of two revolution of the crankshaft and we get the value is 1250 so the steps uh, in the problem we start with the first point the first step duration of injection so we know we have the formula of duration of injection theta divided by 360 into this particular engine rpm n so in this case the theta value is given that is nothing but this particular crank travel let us consider this is nothing but theta and this is given 25 degrees so write down over here then this is the 360 as it is and the engine rpm is 2500 but this value is revolution per minute we have to convert it into second that's why here we have to divide by this particular 60 okay so minutes conversion into seconds so in one minute there is only 60 seconds that's why we have to divide it by 60 seconds so after calculation we can get the duration of injection is equal to 1.667 into 10 raised to minus 3 seconds so this is the first calculated answer so again the relation is given in the problem the specific gravity relation is given because the specific gravity is not directly given but it is given in the form of this relation so write down this relation as it is the specific gravity is equal to 141.5 divided by 131.5 plus degree apa now in this case the degree apa is given that is 30 degree it is mentioned in the problem that's why this is according to american petroleum institute this is one kind of a standard to show the lightness and heaviness of the crude oil so put the value so after calculation we will get the specific gravity is equal to 0 0.8762 so this is the value of specific gravity so after this one the next point that is velocity of injection so we have the formula injection velocity is equal to c sub x d under root of 2 in bracket injector pressure minus cylinder pressure bracket close divided by density of fuel so all the values are uh, given in the problem so just put it coefficient of discharge is uh, again given that is uh, uh, 0 0.875 that value is given in the problem so that is this velocity coefficient that is nothing but coefficient of discharge in this case so put that value c sub x d 0 0.875 then this 2 as it is injection pressure is 150 cylinder pressure is 40 and we have to convert because the pressure is given in terms of bar so we have to convert in uh, newton per meter square so just multiply by 10 raised to 5 so here we have fuel density 876.2 so after calculation we will get the injection pressure is equal to 138.64 meter per second so this is the injection velocity so after this one the next calculation is of volume of fuel injected per cycle so here we have the formula break specific fuel consumption divided by 60 into power output divided by n sub x i into density of fuel so put all these values and after calculation we will get the value is 0 0.114 into 10 raised to minus 6 meter cube per cycle so please check this particular answer with your calculator so here we have volume of fuel injected per cycle finally we are going to calculate the nozzle orifice area and this is with the help of this formula area of fuel orifice is equal to volume of fuel injected per cycle divided by injection velocity into injection time so put all these calculated values here we have already calculated so put all these values and we will get the area of fuel orifice is 0 0.4932 into 10 to minus 6 meter square and finally we know the area is nothing but pi by 4 d square the formula of area is pi by 4 d square put all the values and get the answer of the diameter of fuel orifice in this case and that will be 7.92 into 10 to minus 4 in terms of meter so this is the required answer so please do the calculation with your own calculator and just check down whether it is correct or wrong okay so this is something about this particular numerical. I hope you understood the, this uh, particular problem thoroughly. So thank you so much for watching this particular session. Thanks a lot.